Hi everyone, this is Deb Tim, a Canadian girl. Today is Monday, and Mondays I've been doing a series of profiles of fish I keep in my aquariums here at home. Now today we'll be looking at the Johanni Electric Blue Melanochromis Cyclic. So please stay tuned, and I hope to share some information that you didn't know. The Melanochromis Johanni or Electric Blue Johanni are names that this beauty is known by. Common names would be the Blue Ambuna, Johanni Cichlid, the Blue Gray Ambuna, or the Electric Blue Ambuna. This species is listed as vulnerable because it has very limited range in Lake Malawi. As many of you know, the name Ambuna comes from the Tongo people, meaning rockfish, aptly describing the rocky environment these fish prefer to live in. They enjoy the safety of rocks, caves, and crevices, claiming their own territory for hiding, breeding, and shelter for sleeping. They primarily stick to the area where rock meets sand at depths of 16 feet. This location allows them to feed from both sand substrate, sifting from microorganisms, and the rocks snacking on algae. They will also feed on food particles found in the water columns such as plankton, microinvertebrates, and floating algae that is often home to insect larvae, crustaceans, and other tasty bits. This stunning cichlid has a body shape similar to a torpedo. It has an elongated, thick body with a stubby snout well suited for scraping algae off rock and has a continuous dorsal fin running down its back from shoulders to just before the tail. They will attain a size of just under 4 inches in length at full maturity with a lifespan of 12 years. The males and females are completely different, almost making them seem like two totally different species. The males are black with light blue horizontal stripes running down the length of their bodies. At times the dark blue or black stripe looks as though it's bleeding into the lighter blue. Their fins are black trimmed with light blue. The males also have egg spots on their anal fins. The females are a lovely golden orange color with a darker bar running the length of her body. Fry and juveniles all have the coloration of the female until they near sexual maturity. The Johanni cichlid are mildly aggressive but not considered a community fish. They do best in a species specific tank, kept in groups or a harem of one male and several females. They are also fine with other ambuna, although they are not as aggressive as other Melanochromis species. They will become quite aggressive towards other fish that resemble themselves in color and pattern. Tank mates would include other mildly aggressive cichlids such as yellow labs, cobalt blues, kenyai, and many alonocara species such as red empress peacocks. All Ambuna cichlids require excellent water conditions to flourish, so frequent water changes are a must. 50% weekly is recommended. But if overstocking, smaller water changes more often are necessary for optimal conditions. This all depends on the bioload put on the filtration system. Recommended tank size for a single fish would be 30 gallons with a length of 36 inches. Keeping a group, you would need no less than 75 to 100 gallons to provide them with adequate room. The typical biotope of the Ambuna includes soft sandy substrate as they are diggers and sand sifters, creating caves and swim throughs with piles of rock that allow for claiming territory is essential. Johanni cichlids, like all Ambuna, are mouse brooders. They live in a matri matriarchal society where one female rules the group. During spawning, the males change color, becoming an intense exaggeration of their normal colors. 
This is when you'll see the bars appearing to bleed into each other, causing a blur effect. Females will lay anywhere from 10 to 60 eggs, depending on maturity and the size of the female. The male will flare his anal fin, attracting the female to pick up his egg spots, which in turn stimulates the male into releasing milt, which the female picks up, fertilizing eggs already in her mouth. At 15 days, the babies will be free swimming, but may still retain evidence of their yolk sac. The female will spit the babies around 24 days. She will continue to care for her young for a few more days, picking them up when threatened. Young Johanni will start breeding by the time they are an inch and a half. This beautiful cichlid is an omnivore in nature, feeding on microorganisms and invertebrates. In our aquariums at home, they do well on flaked and pellet foods, supplemented with frozen brine shrimp, bloodworms, and spirulina, designed specifically for omnivorous fish. High protein foods must be considered a treat and only be fed in small amounts and seldom, as these cichlids are prone to Malawi bloat. For the best health of your cichlids, it is suggested we feed them more small meals rather than one large meal. This practice will also keep your water quality higher for a longer period of time as there will be less waste. The electric blue Johanni cichlid are more likely to be found online but can sometimes be found in your local fish stores. With all the hybrids that have been formed in captivity, it's unlikely you will know for sure what you are getting unless you order from a reputable breeder. The Johanni, with its vibrant coloration and striking appearance, will add a splash of color, enhancing your aquarium. So until next time, this is Deb Tim signing out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I will be talking to you soon. Bye.